All right. So, camera died, or the memory is full. So I got this um, terminal terminated. I'm not gonna put the lock in. I think I said that last time. But this one's been terminated, actually. I mapped it out. Let's see if everybody can see that. So that's all the wiring for uh, the throttle body. So it's a top one. Uh, a, B, C, D, E, F, A, B, C, and A and D are right next to each other. So that's how I had it pinned out. That's how the um, factory GM throttle or um, pigtail is. Ugh. So that's how it is on here. So it's just a little jumper harness just in case I decide I'm going to change to a different throttle body. I don't have to worry about trying to depin these and pin things around and change the connector. So I have it all on this uh, sub harness. So that's how this is wired up. So I did cut some wires. Uh, prematurely because I thought these were going all to the throttle body but two of these are actually going to the pedal so we'll start working on the pedal so so using a RX-8 uh, pedal I already have one installed in the car so this is just an extra one so this is the plug and weird thing about this plug um, it took a lot of freaking headaches of looking on uh, various websites I think I found this on like RX8 Club or pedal pinout so I found it on there and actually in this pinout right here I'm gonna zoom in I don't know if you guys can see that but it goes across A B C D E F in the um, manual and this is for the absence which is the pedal and when you look at the wiring it's actually ACB so a lot of a uh, headache trying to figure out what the heck is going on but um, the bottom portion of it is sensor 2 and that's ACB and that's how I have it wired up here so this diagram has it, how it, the computer's gonna see it. D, F, E, so D is gonna be a AVI-4. Switch this around. AVI-4 is app one. This is sensor one. And then ACD is sensor two. And AVI-5, which is red and black, actually no, orange and green. We switch this over, and that's app two, AVI uh, five. So I got this all done out how I think it should go. Uh, so I'm gonna start wiring things in together, and this is just I'm gonna test it out real quick. Uh, so I think it was gray. I'm gonna do the grounds first. So. So gray, so on the harness side, these are the colors. So I have, I need gray and then green and black, which are these two. And these are, this is not, obviously my pedal's not gonna be in my uh, engine bay. So this is just for testing purposes. Make sure I have everything before I move on to the next step. I like to verify. And so then we have red. No. Five, but we have red in yellow and then green in red. Green and red. Five bolt. So, with the Haltech harness, it gives you a bunch of extra five bolts and grounds um, for wiring up various sen sensors. So, I don't have to tap into this. They're all um, crimped uh, closer to the ECU, which is freaking awesome. So now these are the two AVIs that I uh, accidentally cut short, but I think once I get in there, I, I should have a long enough uh, wire, and if not, I'll uh, put them back together. Hopefully you guys can learn.
uh, for my mistakes on this. So. It says AVI green or orange and green, orange and green, orange and green, orange and yellow. Is that what I have? Orange and yellow, red and white. Oh, okay. Thought that was an error. Then we have red. Red, red, red. Red and white. The other one was white and red. That's why I got confused. Green, orange. Yeah. Again, temporary. Don't use wire nuts to secure um, connectors. So, yeah, I'll put throttle body first. Sweet. Then, as you can see in the wing nuts, put it this way. Um, so, I've been testing various things. So I just have a battery with the power hooked up. The ground's disconnected right now. Um, and then I need to get the signal wire, which or the switched 12 volt, which is this one. I'll put that on onto the wire. But first, let me connect the Alltech computer. So, uh, bring you guys over here. So, you see down there. So the lights on on the ECU. So we'll go to file and connect. So, I already went through the ECU setup configurations on um, for the throttle body, uh, the drive-by-wire throttle body. So, all the wires are pinned out just like they show. They're already pinned out how Haltech recommends. So, I just followed that direction. So, let's go to setup. Devices, functions. Drive by wire. There we go. So uh, everything's getting voltage in here. Uh, looks good. So these are connected shows drive by wire TPS voltage everything's getting voltage it's within its range so let's uh, do a calibration take you guys back to this <laughs> now it's doing another test The pedal's right there. Just a calibration. Oh, it says I'm verified. Now it says to it says app calibration, which is the pedal. Uh, I think that's a fit. Come over here. Don't want to disconnect it. So it says app calibration. 
see it. It shows. So it says ensure the accelerator pedal is not depressed and click on calibrate button. Okay. It says fully depress the accelerator pedal and continue to hold. Let's see if it moves. So I'm going to put the accelerator pedal all the way down. So, calibration good, calibration good, everything's good. I put this back. Hey. So, not as difficult as I thought it was. Um, the hardest part was literally this RX-8 pedal. Um, everywhere I've seen it, it had this as, I believe it was this way, A, B, C, D, E, F. And that's not how the sensor set up. So, did a lot of research and paid off, but hopefully this will help somebody in the future if they decide to use a Escalade. I have an Escalade throttle body. I don't know what LS67, I don't know. It's just from an Escalade. Got it on eBay for 34 bucks. Didn't come with a pigtail, so I bought a random pigtail, I think, off Amazon for like six bucks delivered. I bought the um, accelerator pedal uh, kit. So Jeff, G-E-O-F-F -F Pritchett. So he initially fixed my um, cluster, and then I bought his drive-by-wire setup. So... Um, Everything works fine. Um, I got the adapter plate. There's, I'm going to be taking out this stud and putting in uh, um, Allen bolts, stainless steel Allen bolts. I've already done all the way around. It was just I was setting everything up, and I still need to put the O-ring on um, the throttle body side. So there's no O-ring. Uh, and he sent that with the kit as well. Uh, one thing I did have to do, because he made it for a different LS throttle body. I guess mine's a little bit bigger. Is um, I had the machine. I don't no, that is clean and I didn't see. I had the machine where the butterfly goes just a little bit so it can actually open up all the way. So it was hitting before when you could just move it with your hand, obviously. Test, but happy that this works. I can pull these wires through the loom and the pedal's already there so I'll uh, end up wiring this making a, um, a connector so everything could just go straight on there so I think we're good for now next thing I'll tackle I'm not even sure so so far I've gotten the uh, OMP pump ignition injectors and throttle body um, I'll keep you guys updated on the progress, but appreciate you guys. Thanks.